finally, 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 we got an Azzy. You know I'm not going to be able to say the, right, the name right. I'm just going to call it Azzy B11 team. Finally, we got an Azzy B11 team. Here's the thing, though. Like, this team is the same thing that I've been already trying. Just had to tweak a couple little things, and it works perfectly. I mean, it's not the fastest team in the world, but it works perfectly. Uh, it's basically... Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Cesarato should be able to just solve this by himself. A really solid Cesarato can just solo this. I don't have 35 minutes to do one run of... Uh, it wouldn't be 35 minutes anyway. But a really, really solid one. I don't have a really solid one. Eventually, one day, he'll be able to maybe solve... I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't even do it because that's still so long. Like, it still would take way longer. It's better to just have, like, multiple units in there. Um, so, the thing is, we were already trying Charles and Cesarato, which are, like, super staple uh, Azzy B11, <laughs> Azzy B11 uh, units already. And A Momo, who's just a nice healer cleanser, already a super staple uh, Azzy B11 unit. I was trying out different things to put in the back. I don't think Charon's even going to stay in there, but I'm like... He seemed to do the best of all the different things that I tried to put in the, ba the back. He seemed to do the best. I think the reason is... Just because he has lifesteal runes. Gear. Lifesteal gear. I think that's the only reason that he's actually, like, performed the best. Because everything else was like they would eventually die. But, uh, yeah. I think that's, I think that's really the only reason. Uh, but I'm still looking for different things. Like, I wouldn't mind. I feel like Sermia might be good here. I think, okay. So here's the thing with As, uh, here's the thing with Azib11. Which a lot of people that are watching this already know, right? Um... Passives that cleanse, passives that transfer debuffs, first skills that transfer debuffs, uh, and then other cleansers, right? Immunity, doesn't matter, he's gonna take it off anyway. Things that transfer debuffs, things that passively cleanse, and then, um, also you're silenced as well, so that's why I'm saying passively. Uh, and then things that, uh, like strip skill one. Charles will combo himself into a strip. Uh, Layla Violin, this was actually recommended by, uh, Natural, what's up, uh, shout out to Natural, uh, to put Cesarato on the, uh, Layla Violin, which actually did make a difference. Damn you, Natural. It, it makes more of a difference upgrading the artifact. I know, shocking! I know, what, really? Whoa, hold on, you're saying you should upgrade artifacts and then it does better? Yes. I, I know, it's a crazy, it's a crazy, crazy thought. But, um, why is this? just went black. Can you guys see that? Epic 7 just hardcore crashed my tablet. I knew you guys didn't see. You guys just saw the last image that was projected onto the mirroring software. The tablet went black, right? It restarted. It Epic 7 restarted in Korean. So, I don't know if that's happened to anyone else before, but uh, yeah, that was interesting. Maybe they didn't like me uh, calling it as EB11, but um, and you know, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. Now I gotta go do a B12 team and a B13 team when they come out. So we barely get a, we barely get usefulness out of this uh, B11 team. At least we can maybe get some gear, uh, immunity gear to run a uh, turn two cleave team, which is gonna be nice. I mean, we can't take it into like Basars and stuff like that, but at least we can make a turn two cleave team. I think a turn two cleave team with um, just tanky HP bruisers like knights and things like that. I think the. Tywin is going to be great for a turn two, uh, turn two bruiser cleave team. So we, he's probably going to get some immunity gear. We're going to try to try to speed tune. I know Epic Seven is a little wacky with their speed tuning. You can't speed tune quite as much, so we're going to have to see what we can do, uh, fiddle around with that. But I think a Tywin turn two cleave might be a nice option. I think that'll be fun. And then we got to think about what other turn two bruisers we're going to do. But you know what? That's also going to work in Guild Wars. So that might not be bad. I don't know why I stopped on General Purgis, though. Don't get any ideas. Uh, so, uh, Cesarato, everyone uses him for... Everyone that has him uses him for uh, as EB11, right? Not anything that I'm like, oh, wow, guys, I figured out this crazy thing. It's like he can solo it by himself. Um, he was doing... When we switched his... We, we uh, improved his runes a little bit. Um, I know they were actually worse than this. Are they really that bad? They're not anything special, but... I mean, they're legendary 85s, but still, that's not good enough. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's never good enough, right? It's never good enough. Um, these ones are blue. This is a 65. Not anything super crazy, but, uh, you know, it, it works. 
It works. It's not good enough for him to solo. Also, uh, sh I shouted out to Natural, right? Sh uh, Natural told me to uh, stick a Layla Violin on here, which is just extra bonus to get the uh, get the strip because he's got this 60% chance to dispel one buff from the enemy after attacking. He was doing it before, but actually the Layla Violin didn't didn't increase the uh, reliability of the team. It just increased the speed. Uh, so interesting. Interestingly enough, but it actually did improve the team just by sticking him on Le uh, Layla Violin instead of something else. And then we have Kron, who again, I just think that he's... He's nothing really too special, but I think he's just... Well, for... I'm saying for uh, uh, Azzy B11. I think he's just doing good because he's... Because um, he's on Lifesteal, right? That's... I think that that's the, that's the only reason. So I was gonna finish Awakening him. I have to do some more of... Chapter 6, because that's where you get, you can exchange AP for Nightmare Masks. So I'm going to go do that. I wanted to do it before the video, but I probably should have. But then it would have taken extra time, like another hour or two before I could record the video. But for that little upgraded awakening, I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll survive. Not the end of the world. Uh, Charles, who's, again, another super meta unit for um, as the 11. Uh, Justice for all. Not anything super amazing for runes. He's got some levels. I would really love to... You know, for being a 70, that's not terrible. I guess, for him. Because I wanted him with a lot of HP and then crit rate, crit damage. Uh, I tried him on attack, too. Attack is generally okay for uh, like for farming and for, for dungeons, because he can clear waves nicer. But I don't know. I personally like him for HP. I personally like him for but but people some people like doing attack, some people like doing HP. But I feel this is definitely he's better for uh, Azzy for HP, because otherwise I feel like he's just gonna die too much, right? And then a Momo, uh, she's just triple HP. I know someone's gonna disagree with me in the comments, but whatever. Uh, it's the life of a YouTuber. People are gonna be like, no, I use him attack, 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 crit damage. He does fantastically. And then you look at their their gear, and you're like, you see how much HP he has in subs? And they're like, what? Just get better gear. I'm like, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, anyway, she is. I want. I actually. I wanted to make her speed, but uh, I found out that HP, or it it, from testing around with it. It seemed that HP was a better, or just making her extra tanky seemed to be doing better than um, trying to make her faster. So that's why I went for extra tankiness, uh, trying to get some resist on her. Uh, and then we have this, which is not really anything special. There's a lot of not really anything special gear on these things, but I tried to at least upgrade as much as I can with the, the gear and materials that I have at my disposal, so... It is what it is. I know it's not a super endgame team, but it works for the time being. I was trying Ken, I was trying Luna, I was trying like in the back instead of k -Ron. I was trying like a bunch of different stuff to speed it up. Because basically the, the, the front three units, the Charles, the Angelica, not, not Angelica, the Charles, the A-Momo, and the uh, Cesarato, can they, can they can just do it by themselves. They don't need a fourth unit. But I was like going through and I was like, what's the best, for, you know, what fourth unit is going to make it like not die and also make it faster so those are the different things i was playing around with i'm going to continue to play around with different things see what works the best but uh yeah there's a lot of new there's a lot of other units like you may see like oh baby you got all these different units like a Sid, like i just six starred him right he looks like he's been built for a while like oh he's fully awakened like nah i just six starred him like a couple days ago um or yesterday? Was maybe it was yesterday. Cecilia didn't even get a chance to play with her yet. Um, what else? Diane didn't even get a chance to play with her yet. Kawerik just just uh, did him yesterday as well. Didn't get a chance to play with him yet. So it's a lot of stuff that. Uh, See what I gotta make good. Didn't she just? Is, didn't she get? Um, isn't she getting a buff in the next patch? Don't look at the crit rate. Shh, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Anyway, let's do uh let's do a ML. Because we have one ML, and why not? And then we'll call it a day. Not really a crazy video. I'm saving these covenants though. We can we can get more key saves because feed it the um judge key save, but uh, we don't need to do that. I'm saving the covenants for the next banner. So let's see if we get anything good. What do you think? 30% chance. 
It's gonna be a Cesarato, isn't it? It's gonna be a Cesarato. Okay, four star. What do we get? This is... How did I feel about him? How did I... Because wasn't he just in the uh, Mystics rotation like a month ago? He was, right? He was in Mystics rotation like a month ago. Wasn't he supposed to be like a... It is a 30% chance. I, you know, it's not that crazy. It's not that crazy, but... Uh... <laughs> this game is crazy. I feel like... I feel like this game is so crazy compared to other games. Like, compared to, like, Summoner's War. Of course, Bagel, you gotta compare it. Oh, by the way... <laughs> by the way... I'm gonna I'm leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Bagel, yeah, it's crazy because you keep pulling LD4s and LD5s. Listen, I only pulled what? One LD5 twice. The same one, twice. That's the only LD5 I've ever pulled. You, some of you guys have so much more crap than I do, right? Uh, LD4s is what we pull a lot. BBK just got her like a week ago. Fighter Maya just got her a couple days ago. So, uh, one of those was from what fighter? One of these was from the the tower and then the other one was from something something I got I had a couple uh, ML summons I don't know where they were from like I was saving them or something anyway it what whatever it was on Twitch it was on Twitch we got this on Twitch and then we got this on a video you know what I actually have the video clip but I was like nobody wants to see whatever we were doing oh I was doing pet stuff <gasps> I should show you guys the pet that I crafted I was doing pet stuff because I fed, I accidentally fed the pet that I was using. Oh my god, rip. Spiritus Santo, oh, rip. Um, I fed the pet that I was using. Because <laughs> they make you unlock it, right? When you tinker around, like when you start fusing them together. So, um, when you start synthesizing them. And I accidentally fed it. So I had to make another one. So then I did a video, and then we summoned BBK in the video when I was doing the pet stuff, but I was like, dude, I don't want to upload this pet video, a bunch of nothing. People aren't going to be excited about pets anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is the, this is, I, then I had to spend like 20 million golds to craft another one, and I named him Wizzy Wizard, because of course I did, right? Uh, and then he's got, this is my hunt one. 7.5% uh, 7, 7 chance to receive one additional lesser charm, 7.5% chance to receive one additional piece of equipment, and he's currently three-starred. I got to work on that, but that's what he's currently... So, I had to actually, like, summon pets and summon pets and summon pets and feed pets and summon pets and feed pets until we got a good one, then synthesize them together, and... I didn't even want this one. You know what I wanted it to look like? I wanted it to look like Edward, right? I wanted Edward following me around in the dungeons, but he's not, uh... Whatever, he's, he's for, uh, the tavern, right? He's a tavern pet. You can't even, you can't even, like, put the tavern appearance on to the... Uh, the dungeon and campaign and adventure, whatever, uh, pets. So, that was a bummer. I didn't realize that at first. I was like, oh man. I guess it makes sense. In in hindsight, it makes sense. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. You guys don't need to hear any more of me talking. That's it for this one. Just wanted to show you the pet that I was using that I crafted. Expertly crafted pet, like, a couple, like, a day ago. Like, not a day ago, a week ago, whatever. Everything? I did so much stuff like a week ago. Holy crap, it's been a productive week in Epic 7, apparently. Damn. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.